how to tell if a compound so to work out if an ionic compound is soluble or insoluble there are some rules that you'll need to learn the first of these rules is all sodium potassium and ammonium compounds are soluble what that means is if a compound starts with sodium potassium or ammonium then it will dissolve in water it'll be soluble for example sodium chloride is soluble because it starts with sodium potassium sulfate is soluble because it starts with potassium and ammonium chloride is soluble because it starts with ammonium similarly all nitrates anything ending with nitrate is soluble so barium nitrate is soluble because it ends with the word nitrate silver nitrate is soluble because it ends with the word nitrate and lithium nitrate is soluble because it ends with the word nitrate the next rule is all common chlorides are soluble so that means almost all of the chlorides, things ending with the word chloride that you're going to come across, will be soluble. The exceptions are silver chloride and lead chloride. These are insoluble. They do not dissolve in water. So lithium chloride is soluble because it ends in chloride. Barium chloride is soluble because it ends in chloride. And potassium chloride is soluble because it ends in chloride. If on this part over here we would have silver chloride, or lead chloride, these two things would be insoluble. The fourth rule is all common sulfates, compounds that end with the word sulfate, are soluble. Now there are more exceptions to this rule than there were for the chloride rule. So lead sulfate is insoluble, barium sulfate is insoluble, silver sulfate is insoluble, and calcium sulfate is insoluble. So these things here, ammonium sulfate, is soluble because it ends in the word sulfate. Lithium sulfate is soluble because it ends with the word sulfate. And magnesium sulfate is soluble because it ends with the word sulfate. If any of these were on the list, lead sulfate, barium sulfate, silver sulfate, calcium sulfate, if they appeared over here, they would be insoluble. Last but not least, the following are insoluble. So all carbonates and hydroxide are insoluble except if it's a sodium carbonate or sodium hydroxide, a potassium carbonate or a potassium hydroxide, or an ammonium carbonate or an ammonium hydroxide. Because as we've said above, all sodium, potassium and ammonium compounds are soluble. So all carbonates and hydroxides are insoluble, except sodium, potassium and ammonium carbonate or hydroxide. So these six things here, three carbonates and three hydroxides, are the only carbonates and the only hydroxides that dissolve in water because they contain sodium or potassium or ammonium. So let's have a look and look at which of the following, which of all of these are soluble by using the information in this table. So the first one is sodium nitrate. Well, it says all sodium compounds soluble and also all nitrates are soluble so that's soluble the next one barium hydroxide we go down and it says the following are insoluble all carbonates and hydroxides except potassium sodium and ammonium this is barium hydroxide and because all carbonates and hydroxides are insoluble and this isn't one of the exceptions barium hydroxide is soluble the next part, silver nitrate. Well, we know that all nitrates are soluble. So silver nitrate is soluble. The next one, copper sulfate. Well, the rule over here is that all common sulfates are soluble except lead sulfate, barium sulfate, silver sulfate, calcium sulfate. So copper sulfate isn't on the rules of exceptions. And because all common sulfates are soluble, copper sulfate is soluble. Ammonium carbonate, well, we know that all sodium, potassium and ammonium compounds are soluble. And also because of this rule, where it says that all carbonates and hydroxides are insoluble except sodium, potassium and ammonium. This must make ammonium carbonate soluble. Lead sulfate, well, we're told that all common sulfates are soluble except lead sulfate. So because this is on the exceptions list of sulfates, this one is insoluble. 
lead nitrate. All nitrates are soluble. There are no exceptions to the rule. So because it ends in the word nitrate, we can be sure that it's soluble. Silver sulfate. Well, all common sulfates are soluble except lead, barium, silver sulfate, calcium sulfate. So this compound over here is silver sulfate. And because it's on the list of exceptions, the exceptions to the rule that all common sulfates are soluble, it appears there, silver sulfate we know is insoluble. And last but not least, potassium hydroxide, where we're told that all sodium, potassium and ammonium compounds are soluble and it's hydroxide, but the exception to the rule is that all carbonates and hydroxide are insoluble except sodium, potassium and ammonium compounds. So potassium hydroxide is the exception to the rule about carbonates hydroxides. And all sodium, potassium and ammonium compounds are soluble. So potassium hydroxide is soluble.